don't know whether you've ever noticed or not, but a honeycomb is six-sided. It's a hexagon. And I don't know whether you've ever seen any of the stuff that has been done by scientists as they've looked at this or not, but the hexagon is really an incredible structure from an engineering standpoint. As you can see in this picture of honeycomb, the hexagons fit together beautifully. But what you can not see in that diagram is that the hexagon is the most beautifully designed, most exquisitely engineered geometric shape you can have for strength. You see, when you put a load in a hexagon, like honey, for example, that weight is distributed across three sides. It doesn't end up on the bottom. So if you were to fill this hexagon you're looking at right now on the screen with something real dense and real heavy like honey, it would hold it. On the other hand, if you were to put that honey in a triangle, and most of us probably will remember back in our geometry class being told how rigid a triangle is, the load would all be on one side, and the triangle would be very likely to break. And so we use triangles sometimes in engineering structures, but they're not the best structure, especially if you are working with something where the load is distributed within the engineered structure itself, like honeycomb. So when you see honeycomb, you're looking at an exquisitely designed structure that can handle the forces. It's also extremely economical to build. There is no wasted material in the construction of the honeycomb. And I think one of the questions that has to come off of an intuitive nature here is, how do the bees know to develop a honeycomb? I mean, how do you construct a trial and error system here? Well, let's suppose that the first bee made his honeycomb out of a rectangle or out of a triangle. He loads it up with honey and the whole thing collapses. Scratch one bee. Who does the next experiment? 